salvation. Thank you very much. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. We still have several more testimonies of the wonderful things God Almighty has done. In fact, hundreds have come forward this morning, but we're just going to take time to listen to a few more for today's wonderful activities. And we know as you're listening to these testimonies, your faith will be built up that whatever difficulty you're facing with God, all things are possible. So let's listen to the next testimony. Our sister, we welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please introduce yourself. Tell us your name and where you're from. People of God, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, my name is Sawa Braima and I'm from Ghana. The problem that brought me to the Synagogue Church of All Nations was that I was looking for a scholarship to go for my master's degree in the United Kingdom. Um, I tried several times and because I couldn't afford the fees or the tuition, I needed to look for a fully funded scholarship or else even if I get any part funding, I won't be able to attend the course. So after the, from the first try, I tried the Commonwealth Shared Scholarship. I wasn't successful. The second time I tried again, I still wasn't successful. And then the third time, before I, I tried the third time, I came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations and I received the ministration by the new morning water. And by God's grace, I was successful on the third try, and I was admitted to study construction project management at Loughborough University in the United Kingdom. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. <laughs> so from there, tell us what happened at the university. People of God, the course was not easy. As the name suggests, it's a course that usually is a male-dominated field, construction project management. But with God, everything was possible. And it got to a point that every time I had my examinations, God will give me um, direction through the administration of the morning water. I'll be able to learn whatever is coming in the paper. And my course mates will ask me, how did you know this was coming? And I just tell them that it's God's grace. And you know, they don't understand when you try and explain to them that it's God. They'll be like, ah, what do you mean by it's God's grace? But then it's, it's by the grace of God. That's all I can say because it's not out of my own ability. And I was able to get a, disti a distinction and I came out with flying colors to the grace. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. So this was someone who had been feeling dejected, who had been trying several times to try and get a scholarship to study her master's degree, and no way, but after the ministration of the morning water, here she is today with a distinction in her master's degree course in construction project management. Let's put our hands together for Jesus once again. So sister, we can see some things on the board there. Can you show us one by one what are these and tell us the goodness of God? People of God, the first one is my certificate, which says that this is to certify that on 19 December 2016, Sawa Amdi Abraima was admitted to the degree of Master of Science with distinction in construction project management. Hallelujah. Put your hands together once again. The next one is my transcript. As you can see, my degree mark was 74.3%. People of God, it wasn't easy, but God made it possible, and I want to say thank you to Jesus. Below here is a picture of me on the left-hand side with my course mates and some of my lecturers. And then finally, when I came after the course, when I came back to Ghana, I was looking for a job. I had a job before I left, but when I came back, I was told that we hadn't gotten any projects. So I was searching for a job, and God blessed me with a job. As you can see, it's something that I didn't dream of. The salary is very good as compared to what I had before. And I just want to say thank you to God Almighty for this. To God be the glory, not only a blessing in your academics, but also a job in the same field of which you have been studying. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Okay, and what do you want to show us here? There's, there's one last thing I want to show. Um, this is my class, Construction Project Management. Um, there are those that have the dollar sign and then the hashtag next to it. Over here it says that candidates whose names are marked with the hash sign have gained their awards with distinction. And out of the class, we were only three, and I was amongst one of them. 
Hallelujah. If you know you shall be one of the few God Almighty has selected, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we can see God Almighty has done so much for you in this wonderful testimony. Tell us now, what is your word of advice to people watching you all over the world? My word of advice is that continually trust in God and believe that he will, able to, he will be able to do everything at his appointed time. Remember that it is not all up to you and it's not all up to God. You also have a role to play and I played my role and I believe that by God's grace and mercy that is why I was given this distinction. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus once again. We thank God for your life, sister, and we encourage you. Those who make Christ the center of their lives, better is not good enough. The best is always yet to come in Jesus' name. Nous voulons entendre le merveilleux témoignage de cette jeune fille qui a dit qu'elle a essayé plusieurs fois d'obtenir une bourse d'études, chose qu'elle ne pouvait pas, la première fois, la deuxième fois, elle n'arrivait pas à obtenir sa bourse d'études jusqu'à ce qu'elle vienne à la synagogue, l'église de toutes les nations, qu'elle reçoive la prière et qu'elle puisse récupérer l'autre du matin. C'est comme cela que sa bourse d'études lui a été donnée pour pouvoir étudier. Et aujourd'hui, elle rend toute la gloire à Dieu qu'après avoir utilisé l'eau du matin aussi pour son examen, qu'elle est maintenant diplômée avec distinction dans les études de sciences. Elle rend toute la gloire à Dieu qu'après avoir reçu ce diplôme avec distinction, elle a aussi reçu un travail grâce à l'application de l'eau du matin dans la même branche qu'elle a étudié. Et en plus de là, après avoir fait justement un projet en tant que manager de projet de construction, elle a dit que dans toute sa classe, il n'y en avait que trois qui ont réussi. Elle était parmi ces trois-là. Dans toute la gloire de Dieu, ce que le Seigneur vraiment lui a donné la réussite dans son travail, dans ses études, grâce à l'application de l'eau du matin. Estamos de escuchar otro testimonio de progreso aquí en la vida de esta mujer que testifica las bendiciones del agua de la mañana. Ella nos comenta que estaba sufriendo decepción, fracaso, su vida estaba en retroceso absolutamente hasta el momento en el que ella tuvo la oportunidad de recibir el agua de la mañana. Luego de ministrarse el agua de la mañana, el progreso comenzó en su vida, en su vida académica, en su vida laboral, ya que ella tuvo la oportunidad de graduarse y obtener una maestría e inclusive de una cita para una empresa constructora muy importante donde ella vive. Nos comenta de que ella está llena de bendiciones, llena de progreso luego de ministrarse el agua de la mañana le da la gloria a Jesucristo por este milagro continuamos Hallelujah, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ one more time we thank God for the wonderful things he's doing in our midst right now we want to watch the screens of our television